Hey everyone, it's Andrew Warner, founder of Mixergy.com, and I do interviews for ambitious people who just want to build knockout internet companies. And what I want to ask you as an ambitious person who's watching this video is this. Have you ever gone out to hire a developer to build out your site, and in the back of your head you've said, I don't even know what the different languages mean, let alone which language is right for me to program my website on? Well, that's why I did this interview for you with Obi Fernandez. Obi Fernandez literally wrote the book on Ruby on Rails, one of the hottest uh, development languages out there right now. The book, as you can see from the picture, is called The Rails Way. Obi also runs a company called Hash Rocket, which consults startups on how to build their companies and builds uh, their websites for them. Here he is in, uh, in a snippet that he and I recorded where he explains, you know, Ruby on Rails. Here he is explaining what Ruby means. You know, Ruby is a programming language. It's a general purpose programming language uh, that you can use to write anything. And um, people over the years have generally used it um, before Rails, used it for uh, automating things on servers and batch jobs and um, all, all sorts of things that you. All right, let's leave it there. Okay, so that's the Ruby part of Ruby on Rails. What does the Rails part mean? I asked him to explain it using a car analogy. Here's his answer, again, using a car analogy. There it is. What I would say that really is Rails is a provider of uh, kit car parts. You know, where, where every, you know the, the things are provided to you in such a way that you can snap them together and kind of make arbitrarily complex uh, vehicles you know, that can do various things. Uh, so it's kind of midway between having something that's completely off the shelf and having to write everything yourself. All right, and in the interview, I also asked him why Ruby on Rails is such a hot coding language right now, why he prefers it. Um, and as always, what you just saw is part of a much larger interview. If you download the interview, you're gonna find out uh, about other languages. What's PHP, what's ASP.NET, etc. We also uh, talked about how you can decide which language is right for you to build your site on. And he has an interesting answer for that that is not exactly what you'd expect from somebody who runs a shop that builds um, Ruby on Rails sites. We also talked about how you can find your tech co-founder. You know, a lot of people have ideas for great internet companies. They don't want to hire somebody at the, at the early stages. They want to find a co-founder who can handle the technology while they handle the business side of things. We talked about how you can hire that kind of person. So download the interview and you're gonna get all that and so much more. Again, this is always what I show you here is just a small taste of what you can get from the site. All right, before I let you go, I wanted to show you one other bit of video. I asked him how much money he made from writing the book. I feel so much more comfortable talking about business than I do talking about development. So he reached over and he showed me his latest royalty check and I'll show you that right here. I love that he did this. Pearson, gotcha. that's the publisher. That's my latest royalty check. So there. All right, I'm, I'm going to leave it there. You can get more about his royalty check in the interview that I recorded. If you can't see it, the number is, I wrote it down here. If you couldn't see it on your screen, that number for the check was $6,989.20 was his latest royalty check. I think I wrote that down right. All right, before I let you go, let me ask you this. Do you want me to do more interviews for you about developers and development, or do you want me to stick to the stuff that I know better and that I obviously have a deeper passion for, the checks and how much people make and uh, how they make it? Tell me in the comments, give me your feedback, and uh, I'm Andrew Warner, I'll see you in the comments.